There is the digital order, the biggest departure from the geopolitics of our past. The United States and allies equipped with weapons can still dominate the battlefields in the physical world. Power in the digital world is completely different. Here, the United States and China are still the dominant players, but actually not as government actors, and that's critical. Instead, it's the world's largest technology companies who have sovereignty and rulemaking power in the virtual world. That's true for commerce, it's true for security, it's even true for civil society. This is what I call the technopolar world. Nearly all the powerful tech companies are headquartered in just two countries, the United States and China. But whether the technopolar order evolves into a technology cold war, an open or competitive multipolar global order, or breaks down into completely separate technology company driven virtual worlds, which sounds deeply dystopian, completely depends on whether the governance models of these companies evolve and how they choose to interact with governments over the coming years. Example, if the US and Chinese political leaders assert themselves effectively in the digital space, and if the tech companies based in those two countries line up with their respective governments, a US-China technology cold war becomes likely. But if the tech companies continue to pursue global growth strategies and refuse to align with individual governments, preserving the existing divide in the physical and digital fields of competition, then we'll see a more multipolar globalist digital order. And then finally, if the digital space itself becomes the most important arena of great power competition, and if the power of governments continues to erode as it has in the last 10 years relative to the power of tech companies, then the digital order itself will become the new dominant global order. And if that happens, we're gonna have to consider an entirely new set of actors the technology companies become the central actors in 21st century geopolitics. <laughs>